My name is David McCluskey and I was diagnosed in 2007 with stage 2 rectal cancer. The first time I noticed something was wrong was in October of 2006. And I noticed some blood in my stools. Uh, not like bright red, like making the water in the toilet red, but just a little bit of blood in my stools. And at the time I called, of all people, my brother, who worked for Olympus at the time, uh, selling colonoscopy scopes, and told him what my symptoms were, and, or what I'd seen, and he said to, his advice was to wait a couple weeks, and if the symptoms persisted, then to go to the doctor immediately. And three months later, um, as symptoms persisted and I was with him on New Year's Eve, uh, we decided that uh, it was time to go, and I had been experiencing a lot of constipation, um, some frequency, some narrow stools, uh, continuing to have the blood, but it's more of a dark red blood, not a bright red blood. I was very fortunate to have a family practice physician who didn't even hesitate to give me a colonoscopy. Um, I. When I came back uh, from my brother's in January of 2007, I immediately made a, uh, an appointment with my family practice physician, Dr. Schoen. And he, um, after just a couple questions and, a, and uh, uh, a check on my family history, decided that, you know, this is probably just a hemorrhoid, but I really would like you to have a colonoscopy just so we could be sure. And that moment saved my life. In fact, the day I got out of the hospital for my surgery, I went to thank Dr. Schoen for saving my life because I have, I've heard a lot of uh, a lot of horror stories of people who have not been diagnosed uh, quickly enough, and I I gotta say I was very fortunate to uh, have a doctor who who saw the need for it right away. What's funny now is that I I really feel like cancer has completely changed my life. It's one of, not the best thing that's ever happened to me, but probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me because it's really put a lot of things in perspective for me. Um, it's really helps me appreciate the good things in life. It, it, it helps me uh, appreciate my family first and foremost. And I guess it just, I have a better outlook on life. I feel like I, I appreciate things more and, and that my, uh, my experience with cancer has actually made me a stronger and a better person out of it. So I, it's kind of weird, but it, cancer is probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. There's some people who really surprised me um, with their support and how much they wanted to reach out and, and, and help me in any way possible. And then there's others that I really expected that would be the first ones in line, you know, to, and I'm still waiting to hear from them. <laughs> and I guess I, I never really took any of it personally. I mean, I didn't, everybody's gonna, everybody's gonna react to, to a cancer diagnosis differently. And, For, for every one of those that I felt should have been there for me, and there was five that were. So, bases were covered, um, and, and, but it, to kind of give a little perspective to somebody out there who might, you know, be recently diagnosed with cancer, try to understand that it's really difficult. For, I, I, I try to understand that it's really a difficult thing for people to put their brains around, especially for somebody who's so young and might have a young family. So I, don't, I, I never took it personal and I never felt like it was uh, something really against me. I just understood that you know they must not really have been comfortable with the situation. I can't tell you how much my wife meant to me. I wouldn't be here without her.
she just she's made me understand what luck is all about. And her family were very and, and her family were were very supportive of me and um, really filled some gaps um, where some of my other family members had, 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 had kind of fallen off. My brother, I can't tell you how much him and his, his family meant to me as well. So, um, again, like I said, there's a lot of family members who um, kind of let me down through this whole process, but um, I, don't, I, I don't think of the negative. I, all I want to do is focus on the positive and know that God, the love that I have, or the love that I receive, um, and the love that I have for my family members who are there for me during the most difficult time of my life. I can't tell you how much it meant to me. Thank you.